This is Sarah Grace. Um, I wanted to research alternative fuel. More specifically, I wanted to research waste vegetable oil because my friend, um, as a replacement for diesel, my friend Philip Kelso uses it in his vehicle. And uh, he's here to answer questions as we go through the process. Well, first of all, I would only recommend this for an older, mechanically controlled diesel engine because uh, they're a little bit more friendly to using waste vegetable oil as a replacement for diesel fuel. So, and right here we are collecting the fuel. Um, we get, I get it from restaurants that um, basically are um, throwing it away as a, a waste product. So we're going ahead and uh, getting it from them and using it as fuel. It's ultimate recycling, really, because it's already waste and you're creating fuel with it. Um, how much does it cost you to do this? Well, um, the only cash outlay is for equipment. Um, for instance, the pump that I'm using right there is $25 hand crank barrel pump and about $10 worth of um, hose, but I'll tell you, um, it is kind of messy and smelly, and it takes some time. Where did you get those uh, buckets that we're putting the oil in? Uh, those are free, also. They're a waste product. They're thrown away. Wow. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're re we re reusing stuff and recycling all the way around, pretty much. Okay, so you collect oil from restaurants, and then I believe in the next clip we are going to go to your shop, where it kind of happens. What's the next step? Well, after we collect at the restaurant, we take the oil home and filter it. Um, and here's my filter setup. It's a, that's a five-gallon bucket with a shower drain, well, a hole cut in the bottom of the bucket, a shower drain installed, and then a pant leg off of an old pair of pants, just uh, hose clamped to the bottom of it, and then uh, zip tied at the at the very bottom of the pant leg. Just to create a filter, like on a vacuum yes. bag. Yes, yeah, very similar. And here we go, pouring it in about four gallons at a time, and we just wait for that to gravity feed into the fifty-five gallon barrel below. I can really see how that gets messy. I know I got a lot of oil on my hands today. Yes, um, it, it's, it can really get yucky if you slip. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Is this really popular? I, it looks like it's kind of a lot to do, but you are saving a lot of money. It certainly is. That's probably about, uh, well, at today's prices, that's probably about close to $50 worth of fuel um, wow. if we were paying for it at the pump. Okay, and so we let it sit, and it filtered through the recycled pant leg, and you just take the hose, and that's connected to the same pump that we use to collect the oil, correct? That's correct, and I, we just pump it right into the tank of the vehicle. And there's no modification there, correct? That's correct. And this is all hand-pumped and gravity fed. Yeah, it can be automated. Uh, of course, you have a bigger... Um, cash outlay to automate everything um, and I plan on doing that in the future with the money I'm saving by not having to pay for fuel. This is really amazing. I learned a lot about just alternative fuels but about this process today and it doesn't seem that difficult and nope. I mean it takes some time but it seems well worth it. Do you have any idea how much money you saved not having to buy diesel fuel? Well, I know the car has paid for itself. Wow. Completely. So. <laughs> okay, so basically that's it. You collect it, you filter it, you put it in your car. Yes, and we ran the car for a year without any modification to the car whatsoever. But recently we installed an inline heater on the fuel line. Which is and what we're looking at, right? That's, yes, that's the uh, a circuit breaker and a relay for the electrical supply to the um, what is basically common off-the-shelf parts. That What we're looking at now is 
a glow plug, which is used in diesel vehicles anyway, and then some plumbing parts. And that heats the fuel, which goes to the primary filter, which is right there that I'm pointing at in the, in the film. And that's actually standard on the vehicle. That's not something you added. That's correct. The, the uh, primary filter is on there anyway. And there's a picture of still view of the, the, the electrical hookup. Okay. And this is the vehicle. And and here we go. Starting it up. And it runs. It's really amazing. Philip added the heater to increase the viscosity of the vegetable oil going into his engine because vegetable oil congeals in colder temperatures. In fact, in colder climates, more extensive modifications are required. They must have two separate tanks in addition to the heater. The first tank contains diesel to start the vehicle, and the second tank contains filtered waste vegetable oil to run the car. It is usually located in the trunk. They do still use diesel, but the amount is enormously decreased, as is the pollution they create. I'd like to thank Philip Kelso, our Viola Church, and Robbie Doyen for their immense help with this project. Waste vegetable oil is a real and readily available alternative fuel that people are using today. It does take going the extra mile, but the rewards are many free miles. Philip is not only helping his pocketbook, but the environment also.